and welcome to another War Robots video. I'm your host, Give Give, and today we will be showing you the last win of the This Is Halloween Challenge. If you find our content helpful, please like and subscribe, and click the bell button for alerts on future videos. Sorry for the lack of War Robots videos lately, I have been busy working on the This Is Halloween Challenge. As you can see, I have managed to get the Crimson Hawk from the 400 token special delivery chest as the special prize. At the moment, I am at 299 wins, and in this video, I will get the 300. In the game I'm playing, I will mention some techniques and tips that you might not understand. If you are unclear about anything, Please refer back to the War Robots Tips and Tricks video. Now, on to the game. It looks like it's Beacon Rush in Springfield. I'm going to start with the Crimson Hawk that I got from the special delivery chest. It's about 7 seconds into the game and I fly up with Transform and move off towards the pole, where I'm hoping I'll be able to get some shots off with my Marquess. No one's close enough yet though, so I move off towards the centre beacon, Beacon Deep. I'm getting hit by the air giant, so I'm going to quickly fly up and shoot him with transform. So I ended up hitting the wall, and now I'm just going to try and get back behind cover. It looks like there's a blitz shooting at my team. I'm going to fly up and shoot it with Transform. It wasn't that much damage, but I'm hoping my teammates can kill it now while my ability recharges. I see a Fenya and then go to attack it because it wasn't looking at me at the time, but it probably wasn't the best idea because it has more health than me. I used the Landers cover, but it didn't really work. The Fenya was on higher ground, so it still shot me and then I died. Spawning at Beacon B with the Serpents. Right above me there's an air drum. Its ability finishes, so I pop off the Blackout ability and I'm shooting it. And that's my first kill. So I start moving forward to see if I can do some more shooting, help my teammates a little bit. So there's another air drum and quickly try and get behind cover. And then its ability is finished, so I go to shoot it. Blackout ability. And now it's on last stand. As the last stand was wearing off, a scorpion came and used backstab and then I died. So now I spawn in at B can be as air drum and use the dragon breath ability straight away, targeting the mender. There are too many enemy robots set there, so I go back onto the ramp. Another Aegon uses its Dragon Breath ability, and since I've already used my ability, I'm defenseless, so it killed me. Now I spawn at Beacon E with the Stellar Phantom, trying to help beat the Leech. Since the Leech's ability is already used up, it's a pretty easy kill, since Leeches don't have much health. Now the beacon is safe. So now I move off to watch beacon A since there's no one there and I'm hoping to get it. Uh oh, that's not good. The other team just spawned a Minos. It's the newest Titan in the game and a really strong one. I need to watch out for it. I move off towards the Minos and since I don't want to be fighting on a nearly empty ammo clip, I quickly use up my leftover ammo and let my fire weapons reload. I hit the Minos a little bit, but then a Blitz and a Scorpion come along and I get locked down and suppressed, which isn't that good for me, and there's not much I can do about it. So now I spawn at Beacon D with my Arthur since it just finished charging. I go up against the wall and look for some targets, but there's no clear shot. Well, 
I get a little bit of an opportunity to shoot at the Manos, but after a while it runs off towards Beacon E. The Manos is a bit too far away at the moment, so there's not much point going after it. So I decide to go off towards Beacon B and help out my teammates since it looks like the beacon is getting swamped a little bit. Well, there's an Arthur there. It's not facing me and its shields are at the front, so I get a clear shot at its side. And down it goes. The Minos has gotten beacony, but it's still too far away for my weapons to hit it, so. I'll let one of my teammates take care of it since my Arthur's a bit of a slow robot. Oh, and he comes forward and she's shooting me, so... I shoot it with my Cataclysm a little bit, but then it runs out of ammo. Alright, coming over to the bridge and... Pushing right up against it for cover. Doing a little bit of top corner shooting. So, I can hit them, they can't hit me. From where I am, most of the robots are behind cover though, and I can't hit them. I'll just wait for a bit and someone's come out. I didn't get to deal that much damage though, because the robot went right back behind cover when he realized I was shooting him. It looks like the Minos is stuck around Beacon E. It can't do much at long range, so that's good for my team. I'll just go and look for some more kills near the bridge. There's an Arthur, I'll try and take down its shield. The Arthur can't really hit me since I'm behind cover, so, so I don't really need to worry about him seeing me and shooting back. Since my team has more beacons, I don't need to play aggressively because we can just win on beacon control. I deal a bit of damage to that person, but then the robot gets blasted by a different Arthur and I can't shoot it anymore. And a node and just spawned with the other team. It's behind cover, so I won't get much of a chance to shoot at it. But the air blank just flew up so I can shoot at that instead. And that's a win. Looks like I came fifth and did around a million one hundred thousand damage. That definitely wasn't my best game. I usually play better than that. I get around maybe one million five hundred thousand damage or higher in most games. But a win's a win. And that was the three hundredth one. Now I have the Experimental Loki, and it's a limited edition robot, which means it has 10% more health than the normal one. Thank you for watching this video on winning the This Is Halloween Challenge and the Experimental Loki. Once again, if you enjoy our content, please like and subscribe. I hope you like this video, and we will see you next time.